of our friends with the definition of mind, the Christ mind, which yes. we are all a part of. Yes. Are you using mind in any other term, or we just this is just so I make sure our friends know where we are? <laughs> the mind. Right. We have the gift, the invitation from the from the Holy Spirit from the Creator. We've been given everything, right. and it's the mind, right. the Christ mind. The Christ mind, mind, the divine mind, the, the divine one mind. mind. The mind of okay, God. Okay, that, that helps. All of that is, is the mind of God. Mind. And all of that is purely abstract, and that's why anything we, we could talk about that involves perception and the arrangement or the attempt to order and arrange perception is we could call, we we'll use a Christian science term, mortal mind. Mortal. This I has the sound one. to it, you know. Yeah. And the teaching is that the mind of God and the mind of Christ are real, and mind cannot create beyond itself. Mm -hmm. So this whole idea of manifesting a world, coming the Christ mind coming into the world and so forth, that's all erroneous. Yeah. That's where all the error, the error, the one error comes in. Yeah. So the ego is just fear. Yes. It's just, and, and it, it's, they're all the forms of the same thing. Yes. I just, I feel like I need to, to try and be as clear as we can because yes. we want our friends to understand. Yes. We only have four minutes. Okay. Just it, you know. Yes, that's it. With the Fear. divine mind is the gift. Right. It's the invitation. Yes. The invitation is, is a call to remember divine mind. And of course, that's the, the eternal invitation. You know, it's like it's, it's there for the acceptance. You yeah. know, that's really all it takes. You can't is, get is, away from it. No. It, it, <laughs> there's nowhere else to go but home. And that's just a remembrance or a recognition. So we could say fear or ego is just the belief that divine mind can come into matter, into time space. At all. Right. Yeah. So watch it now. We're just going to eliminate the beliefs in reincarnation and uh -oh. incarnations. You know, when you talk about incarnation, you know, the idea that spirit comes into matter. Oh, yeah, and goes out and comes back. Or, or around and around and around. That involves taking spirit and, and bringing it into something that's time, space bound, that's finite. Yeah. And the soul or the spirit is infinite. Yeah. And so how in the world could, could the soul come into matter? So it doesn't. So again, that's why all the spiritualities of the world, a lot of them have tried to explain how the impossible occurred. But we're just ex saying is the experience of this present joy is that it has not occurred, yeah. that the, the impossible has not occurred. And, and that's where the, the, the peace and the ease and the gentleness of Jesus, the gentleness of the Holy Spirit, are very apparent. What is Mary Baker? I say that something about there's no spirit and matter. Is that how she says? There's no mind and matter. No mind. It's, there's she no has life, the, truth, substance, or intelligence in matter. No I mean. intelligence in matter. <laughs> right. Yeah. No yeah. intelligence in matter. So no concepts. Don't no have concepts. to get into degrees and and how, how to be accredited to be who growing. you are or growing. <laughs> right. You just there's no. I'm better mind. now. I'm closer to God now. <laughs> right. I closer. Just, I overcame another fear thought, so I'm a little closer. <laughs> right. Right. And there it is. You know, it's because it, if you're closer, but we're how, eliminating <laughs> various fields of thought. Yes. Here. <laughs> well, by the time we conclude this interview, we should have eliminated the world. You know, which is lesson 132. There is no world. That's a good lesson. Point. There is no world. Yes, right. And this is not a kind of a denial way. This is this is the joyful way of letting the world dissolve into the nothingness that it is. As we dissolve into the Christ mind. Yes. The gifts are there and we yes. experience them. And yes. that stand that speaks for itself. Yes. That's it. That is it. Doesn't get any better. No. Nope. <laughs> and everything else vanishes. Yeah. The world vanishes. Right. When Jesus right. healed the so-called sick, I mean, he wasn't seeing right. disease. Right. But didn't see it. Right. Not only didn't he see the disease, he didn't see separate persons, places, and things. I mean, he, the Christ mind is, is just everything. And it, it just is, doesn't look on error. Yeah. And so it takes it away from this idea of, um, you know, trying to bring about a healing or heaven on earth is a sneaky idea <laughs> or the stuff from the Bible, be in the world but not of it. It would be like saying, be in the illusion yeah, but, not of, but not of it. No, this is not even necessary. <laughs> Talk to you next week, David okay. Hoffmeister. Okay. Thank you, my friends, for joining us on Awaken the Dream. We will continue with David next week.